Okay, I'm installing head studs on this LBZ Duramax. They're made by Exotic. Basically, it's, it's new studs and bolts. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to make sure you clean all the holes out, which I've already done. Brake clean and a blow gun works really good. Some, some guys like to Loctite them in. I don't. I'm just going to put a little lubricant on them, which is the stuff that comes with them. It's basically thread lubricant. Engine oil would work as well. Anyways, we're going to stick it in here, run them down. They also give you a nice little Allen wrench in the kit. The kit's pretty nice, but we're going to take and run all these down tight. Not, I'm not going to reef them down, but get them all snug anyways. Help them hold better. Pretty much do that on all of them. The biggest thing with head studs is you want to make sure that you lube the bottom side of the washers, the bottom side of the, the nuts and the threads, because that's where most of your torque comes from. This one says to do it in three equal steps of 125 foot-pounds on the studs and then there's bolts that go right here. This is what they look like when they come. Those will go to 25 foot-pounds. A little different than the, the factory way to do it. If you read the service manual it says you go I think 30, 60 and then you go 60 and 60 degrees. But the st studs clamp a little bit different is why we're doing this differently. Alright, after we've got our head studs installed the other thing is you want to make sure there's no oil or anything like that in the bores. There is, it could, as you turn those in, it could potentially crack the block if you ran it in with an impact gun, something like that. This is the left side. It's got an L there. Uh, these head gaskets are one way only. So you can put right on one side, left on the other side. We measured the piston protrusion and we came up with the gasket C's on this one. So that's ready. Now we're going to stab our head. The head studs make this a little nicer too. Can't really screw it up with the studs. We want to make sure that it sits down all the way on both sides, which it is. Now we're ready to put our nuts on. What we're going to do with our nuts is we're going to loop the washer face. I'm going to put that down and then I'm going to lube my nut face. I'll put a little bit on the inside so it gets on the threads of the bolt. Or you can do this. Most of your friction comes from the turning effort between the washer face and the nut friction surface. So whatever you can do to reduce that will change your torque. We'll go ahead and put the rest of these on then I'll be back. It's just important to lube our bolts that go, the little bolts that go in here. What you're going to do is you get it on the threads like so. You get it underneath the head. That's where the friction is. When you torque stuff, 40 to 50 percent of the torque is lost through friction on the head. Another 30 to 40 percent is lost on the thread and only about 10 to 10 to 20 percent goes into actually tightening the bolt. So overcoming friction is is a huge thing. If you don't do this correctly, your torque values will be wrong, especially on a cylinder head like a Duramax like this that is aluminum head. They're super picky on what the, the torques need to be. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and run all my nuts down in the correct sequence. I've lubed them all. I'm just gonna run them down snug. I'm not gonna tighten them yet. So one, two, we follow the, the torque chart here. It goes three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Basically, you're doing a circular pattern from the center. 9, 10, go 11 over here, 12, 13, 14, come back over here to 15, 16, 17, 18. We still got the four little ones, swap sockets here. Now, after I do my initial torque on the ones I just did, then I'll tighten the small ones. I'm just going to run those up. So the same way on this, you're going to start in the middle. Two, three. Like I said, I'm not tightening those yet, not until I get the initial torque done on the big ones. So that's four. Okay, when we torque these, we're gonna torque them down in three equal steps and end up at 125 foot-pounds on the big ones. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. You notice it's a kind of a circular pattern, the way they do that. I'm going to start out at 30. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Failure to follow this will, it's 15, give you incorrect torque. 16, 17, 18. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go up to 70 now. 70, that's one. Three, four, five, six. Some guys will take them right to the torque. That's not a good idea. This kind of helps work everything in and make sure everything seals correctly. There's 10, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18. I'm going to go through and check again. Let's see, turn a little bit. Probably need to pull these heads. I'm going to do my final torque. This is at 125. Two. Three. That snapping noise is the uh, torque wrench. The bolt moving. Hear that? Well, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, then we'll recheck. One, two, three, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and do these. Same thing with these, you want to do a inside out pattern. When you take a cylinder head off, you want to do everything exact, exactly opposite of putting it on. Like here, I'm going from the inside out. When I take it off, I want to go outside in. And what that allows it to do is when the ends come up, you go bing, 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 bing. It'll allow the ends of the head to come up rather than the center. Just a lot better way of going about it. So we'll recheck these. There. That cylinder head's installed. And you do the same exact thing for the other side. So here's the actual service manual for this. You can see the torque pattern for this versus the exotic studs is the same. The first step is you torque it to 37, then 59. And then we use a 60 degree turn twice. So you go through that, it's a four step procedure. The exotic, they just have a torque value that is just as good. The difference is the studs are reusable. They have fine threads, torque down a little bit different. But you see the torque pattern's the same. You can use ARP head studs as well. All the research I did, all the guys are saying these exotics, and here's the, the brand name. They say these are just as good as the, the ARPs, and they're about 100 bucks less, so that's why I went with these.